friends today i am going to talk on plasma membrane as you are well aware that every living cell whether it is prokaryotic or eukaryotic is surrounded by a membrane to its outside which is termed as plasma membrane in fact this plasma membrane defines the outer boundary of the cell in mean, both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells this plasma membrane is present plasma membrane is variously termed it is also known as cell membrane sometimes it is called plasma lemma all these three names belong to the same structure means the outermost membrane present around the cell plasma because it surrounds the protoplasm there is another term used to designate the same structure that is selectively permeable membrane selectively permeable membrane this membrane defines the function it performs function means this membrane has the capability to allow certain substances to come inside the cell for example oxygen it allows certain molecules to go outside the cell for example co2 then it do not allow certain other molecules to enter inside the cell for example polar molecules like sodium ion calcium ion potassium ion so it has the capability to select that which molecules can be allowed to enter inside the cell and which molecules can be allowed to go outside the cell and what are the substances which cannot leave the cell or enter the cell that's why in fact in this way it maintains a environment inside the cell so that normal life processes can go on because outside world is does not have such molecules such a environment so that these metabolic processes can go out at the same time i also like to tell you tell you that in case of prokaryotic cells this plasma membrane or cell membrane is present or you can say defines the outer boundary of the cell but in case of eukaryotic cell even inside the cell it is present in the form of uh, outer boundary of the cell organelles like lysosomes mitochondria chloroplast endoplasmic reticulum nucleus nuclear membrane is also of the same nature so in this way both cell membrane and the membranes which surrounds these organelles are of nearly the same nature this membrane though the its first function is to define the outer limit of the cell or it to form a physical boundary of the cell
physical boundary of the cell. Secondly, it allows certain substances or you can say it selects substances that means it regulates the transport of various substances through the membrane. In fact, no activity inside the cell can go without involvement of the membrane and it is ये काफी हद तक करना सही होगा कि जेनेटिक मटेरियल के बाद जो सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट स्ट्रक्चर है सेल में वो है प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन बिकॉज इट टेक्स मेनी फंक्शंस इट इज इन्वॉल्व इन मेनी फंक्शंस फॉर एग्जांपल आई टेल यू दैट इट हैज अ रोल इन सेल सेल कम्युनिकेशन मींस व्हाट आर द सेल्स व्हिच कैन कम टुगेदर टू फॉर्म टिश्यूज and a very good example of this is comes from the marine sponges in an experiment two marine sponges were selected one was red in color means their cells were red in color and another was is marine sponge has cells yellow in color though i am here using green color to represent that marine sponge when the cells of these two marine sponges were mixed together in this fashion and it was left for certain duration of time then it was found that the red spawn cells form a clumping at one place and while the yellow spawn cells get separated out and form another clump how they came to know that this is different cell and this is different cell it is only possible because of there is a cell cell communication between the two different types of marine sponges then the various signals are received by the plasma membrane through the receptors which are present in the cell for example you take the pituitary hormones which are released from the pituitary gland which is present in the brain now this pituitary gland secrete a hormone called gonadotropic hormone fsh and lh these hormones travel a long distance through the blood and enters in the gonad either in testis or in the ovary and they induce its effect by attaching to some receptor and finally this receptor signals the information inside the cell and it goes to the genetic expression of that particular of genes so it has a role in cell signaling just we are passing through the times of covid period here आप लोग अच्छी तरीके से जानते हैं कि ये कोरोना वायरस हमारे लंग्स को जाकर के इफेक्ट कर रहा है ये क्यों लंग्स पे जाकर के अटैच कर रहा है बिकॉज आवर लंग्स हैव ए स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ रिसेप्टर दैट इज टॉम्ड एज एस रिसेप्टर ए स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ रिसेप्टर इज प्रेजेंट एस रिसेप्टर इनफैक्ट इट इज टर्म्ड एज एस टू रिसेप्टर्स दीज एस टू रिसेप्टर्स हैव द कैपेबिलिटी टू रिसीव द कोरोना वायरस स्पाइक प्रोटीन एंड वेन इट फॉर्म्स ए कॉन्टैक्ट विद अवर सेल मेम्रेन इट इंटर्स इन साइड द सेल एंड प्रोड्यूसेस इट्स वेरियस एफेक्ट्स तो इन दिस वे वो चाहे कोई डिजीज हो चाहे कोई सेल सेल कम्युनिकेशन हो चाहे सेल सिग्नलिंग हो चाहे ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस हो ऑल दीज एक्टिविटीज 
are ultimately regulated by the or it occurs through the plasma membrane. So now you can understand the importance of plasma membrane in the cell. Here I also like to tell you that the plasma membrane has two phases. One phase is called extracellular phase. The phase which is facing towards the outside the cell, this phase is termed as cellular phase. It faces towards the exoplasmic site and another phase is termed as cytosolic phase. cytosolic phase. This is phase, phase is the cytoplasm of the cell. Here cytoplasm is present or us side mein jo iska phase present hota hai usko hum cytosolic phase kehte hai aur jo phase iska bahar ke side mein hota hai usko hum bolte hai extracellular phase or exoplasmic phase. Exoplasmic phase. If you come to the cell organelles, then this is just opposite. Here, the cytosolic phase is this one, and exoplasmic phase is this one. Ye jab aap aage chal kar ke padhenge, tab aap samjhenge. Jaise main aapko yahan example bataun ki suppose endocytosis is taking place. Usme kya hota hai ki certain nutrient substances are taken inside the cell by invagination of the plasma membrane. Gradually this invagination collects all these nutrient substances and finally it separates out from the plasma membrane. So the outer phase tha, ab wo, ye cytosolic phase ho gaya, aur jo cytos, uh, साइटोस जो आउटर फेस था वो अंदर चला गया नाउ इट बिकम एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलर फेस और जो इनर फेस था अब वो साइटोप्लाज्म के थ्रू यहां पर है तो इसलिए अब यहां पे सेल आगनेस के केस में आउटर फेस को हम बोलते हैं साइटोसोलिक फेस और इनर फेस को बोलते हैं हम एक्सोप्लाज्मिक फेस नाउ वी विल कम टू द सर्टेन बेसिक फैक्ट्स ऑफ द सेल यही पे आपको बता दूं मैं कि द थिकनेस ऑफ दिस प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन दिस इज अ वेरी थिन मेम्ब्रेन ये इतना थिन होता है कि इट कैन नॉट बी सीन थ्रू द लाइट माइक्रोस्कोप इसीलिए इसकी डिस्कवरी बहुत लेट पे हुई इसका कंफर्मेशन 1950 में जाकर के हुआ जबकि उसके पहले ये सारे आगनेल्स ऑलरेडी सर्च किए जा चुके थे द थिकनेस ऑफ दिस प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन इज अबाउट varies you can say sent to 6 to 10 nanometers though in different uh, membranes its size varies or uh, कंपोजिशन भी वैरी करता है और चूंकि ये हर जगह प्रेजेंट होता है यूक्रोटिक सेल में जहां भी जितने भी सेल आगनेल्स हैं दैट्स व्हाई दिस प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन इज आल्सो टर्म्ड एज बायो मेम्ब्रेन इसकी प्रॉपर्टीज लगभग सेम होती हैं एक्सेप्ट सर्टेन वेरिएशंस इन द केमिकल कंपोजिशन जो मेनली जिस सेल में इस प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन को स्टडी किया जाता है वो सेल होता है रेड ब्लड कॉप्सल्स आर बी सी आर बी सी क्योंकि इसका स्ट्रक्चर सबसे सिंपल होता है और इसकी थिकनेस काफी ज्यादा होती है इट इज अबाउट 21.5 नैनोमीटर्स तो यहां पे विजिबिलिटी भी बेटर होती है प्रोटीन्स की और प्रोटीन में कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी कम होती है इसलिए इसको आराम से सेपरेट किया जा सकता है और इसकी केमिकल और बायोफिजिकल स्टडीज कैन बी डन इजीली